Patrick, what a great feeling that must have been in the dressing room. It always feels loads better after a good win like that. Oh, especially when we've had last Saturday, obviously last few seconds, and then Tuesday, you know, it wasn't a great performance and getting beat. So the difference in the change room after just makes everything so much better winning. And especially after you put in a, the vast amount of hard work you had to do to get those three points today. We knew, especially like we knew some games they are going to be a bit scrappy, a bit, a bit tough to League Two, like. Pitch isn't exactly a carpet to go and play football, and we knew before you're going to start playing football, you've got to win the battle. And first half was a bit like that. Second half, we it opened up a bit more. We played football and managed to get in front and secure the win. How hard has it been to lift yourselves this week, as you say, on the back of a couple of really sickening late goals? Um, it is tough, but you just think. Say we played Saturday, we got beaten the last few seconds. You've got another game on Tuesday, so you can't be sitting moping around. There's no point. You haven't got time. Especially, no one's going to help you. There's only people that can get us out of it. Is us. So you just got to pick yourself up, dust yourself off and go again, which we did do. Tuesday wasn't great, but again, lads have just showed there, pick ourselves off, dust ourselves off and uh, get the three points. And in a game like that, I suppose the first goal is always going to be crucial, isn't it? Oh, massive. That's what we knew. We knew, obviously, when they got sent off, we thought, like, don't rush, don't panic. We don't have to score in one breath. Um, so we knew if we keep playing, keep applying the pressure, a goal will come. And when the goal did come, it was yourself who was on the score sheet. You like scoring against Mansfield, clearly, and you read that situation so quickly. Talk us through it. Um, I said to my mates before the game, I was going to score, to be fair. So, yeah, I told them. So, if, if they haven't uh, sorted out, then there's, there's a problem. Um, no, it was... I, the ball went over and I heard one there. Lad shout, edit home. So, I just thought, he's going to... He's not in the right position to start trying to edit away. So, I thought, I'll just gamble. I thought, if I get anywhere near the keeper... And when he chested it, I thought, there's no chance he's getting back. I could feel him dragging on my arm. I thought, it's either going to be a penalty or... He's going to leave it and manage to slot it away. And then, just fa fantastic feeling straight after that, what, two, three minutes later, you've got another one on, on your right foot, hammered that one at the net as well and gave us that breathing space. That's the thing, when you get one, it's, it is just, obviously, it's just one nil. It's, it's not much of a difference to be fair. All it takes is one chance up the other end, up the other end and they could equal it. But um, to be fair, I didn't think the cross was going to make it. It kind of bounced in front of the lad and then it just kind of hit me. And I thought, oh, perfectly fell in and just. <laughs> Tapped it in, but I'm not complaining. I'll take any goal. Yeah, you'd take them like that every week, oh, wouldn't you? <laughs> take 20 of them. If I'm, if I'm a Quigs, I'll take any of them a season. I'm not bothered. Well, after that, we could have scored more goals, couldn't we? Not just you, but the team. They looked, you know, the confidence you could see it flowing through the lads after that. Massive. That's what it is. Football is a big confidence game. And obviously, two goals up. You think let's go and get more. It's obviously goal difference is a massive thing. Ours isn't like, obviously, it's not great, but it's not compared to the rest down the bottom. It's not too bad. So the, the better we can keep it. The, the better it's going to be for us, it could come in uh, vital at the end. How close were you to getting on the end of that rebound there? The, 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 the headline was already in my head, hat-trick rough. I didn't, yeah. I, so I was hoping that you were going to get on the end of it. How close were you? Jules just said it at the end there, but I seen, I just thought, <laughs> Quiggs ain't passing this. I've known Quiggs long enough now. I just thought, it's not a chance he's passing this. So I thought, I'll just try and get the scraps. And I thought, should have gone with my head, should have gone with my foot. I just couldn't manage to get on it, but I'll take two. <laughs> In, in, in the position we're in now, how important is a victory like that in terms of you know just a platform to, to go on now and you know get this week out under our belts and go to Walsall next week feeling really good about ourselves? Oh, it's massive. Like we said, the lads, uh, the lads said in there after the game, we just said it's just one win. That's it. We need to go out and get another seven or eight of them to try and secure our place. But the morale, like the thing it does for the morale, is massive. And we've got like no, we haven't got a game on Tuesday, so we've got a couple of days to rest and recover, and then hopefully go again Friday and repeat.